Okay, guys. We're gonna try our best to get into this cave once and for all. Oh man, it looks like there were some landslides since the last time we were here. Don't drop the GoPro this time. Come on, I'm making it. Ah. Okay. <laughs> we can make it, guys. We're going in the cave. I got my headlamp on. It's really windy outside. We gotta go down this hill first. In order to get to the cave entrance, we had to climb down this steep and treacherous goat hill. It was kind of scary, and being afraid of heights made it that much worse. Yeah, all right, let's go. We keep finding these mussels here. These are, uh, these mussels right here are living creatures. It's been cracked somehow. You can see the mussel inside. I'm just gonna move the shell back. So these are edible, actually. People eat these. This one's already been broken open. It's gonna die if it's not already. The white thing on its shell is another living animal called a barnacle. These little hairs are known as the mussel's beard, and they use them to connect to rocks and other mussels. I found this big cluster of mussels drying out on the rocks, so I put them back in the water to help them survive low tide. Okay, let's go inside the cave. Here we are. Look at this. Coming up. This is what it looks like looking out of the cave. There's like a fire pit right here. Oh, this place is big. It goes way back. You can see that there's uh, some weird stuff. It's a bunch of writing. Some symbols here. I don't know what that means. Hopefully it's nothing bad. We're gonna keep going deeper into the cave. Let's go. Smells smoky back here. Oh man, that's weird. Huh. Looks like someone was eating some mussels in here. Is that a leg? Maybe. Oh gosh. Look, you can just keep going up there. Ah, this is scary, guys. Oh. oh gosh. We are way back here. And that just keeps going up. I can see water coming down. It just keeps going. Okay. I'm going in. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, Brad. I'm just kidding. Oh, there's a weird spider web up there. Oh. I'm not a big fan of spiders. This thing could collapse on me at any minute. It's actually really warm in here. So if we get stuck here, we're, we'll be fine. Okay, I don't see anything up there except a bunch of wet mud. All right, I'm coming down. Oh. What do you see? Cave moths. Moths? I believe so. I'm gonna go look. Cave moths up here. All right, let's go find some satisfying sea animals. Before we get into some super satisfying parasite removals, I wanna answer a question that I'm commonly asked. And that is, am I a marine biologist? By definition, yes I am. I study marine biology every single day. I'm a lifelong learner, and that's why I'm super excited to shout out our sponsors of today's animal rescue video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. This is a platform where you get to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. I use Skillshare to further my experience in drawing. Check out that octopus. I'm also taking a class with guitar expert Henry Olsen to become a better ukulele player. But there's so many more classes to check out, like photography, entrepreneurship, and much more. These aren't just videos that you watch once and you're done. They're designed to actually help you learn and grow your talents and abilities. There are no ads, they're always launching new premium classes with real instructors that you can interact with, and members just like me that can help encourage, further explain, and inspire you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual membership. Let that sink in. Unlimited learning of the things you love for less than $10 a month. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. These spots are going to fill up super fast, so become a member today. All right, let's remove those pesky parasites. The first shrimp that we're going to help today is Marcy. Hey, Marcy. You're a good shrimp. All right, let's see what we've got going on.
look at that bulging gill flap. That thing is huge. We're going to peel back the gill flap and slowly remove the parasite. It looks like it's just the female. So let's check the gills and make sure the male didn't stay behind. Nope, it's free and clear. I hope you're feeling better now, Marcy. Go ahead and go home. Whee! Remember I told you about barnacles? Well, this is what they look like underwater. It's like a little hand that comes out of a volcano and grabs particles. That's how they filter feed. All right, next shrimp. Our next patient is Rosie. Isn't she adorable? She got little hairy arms. We're gonna check to see if she has a parasite. I bet she doesn't. Oh, shoot. She does. All right, we're gonna just kind of move this gill flap back, grab onto this little pesky varmin, and take it right out. Rosie's my best friend, Parasite, so you guys go find a new place to live. Like in Franklin the Sea Chicken's tummy. Who's Franklin? Oh, you'll see. Give me a minute. We've got to help Rita first. Hey, Rita. You're a good shrimpy, too. It's always so weird to see the parasites through the gill flap. All right, I'm going in. Hold still, Rita. This is only going to take a second. I'm going to make you a deal, Parasites. I'm going to take you out of Rita, and you guys just mind your own business from now on. I wonder if I'm able to put these Parasites in an envelope and send them back to Eastern Asia. Who's hiding back here? Oh, hey, look, it's Hannah. Notice how when I pull Hannah's tail down, you can see her little flippers. She uses these to swim, and she also uses them to carry her eggs. Check out this shrimp. She's loaded with eggs. Good job, shrimpy. Go make some babies. And while we remove the parasite, now's a good time to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Look at all these parasites, an invasive species that are destroying these shrimp. And this little shrimpy is just a kid, and it doesn't have a name. So I was hoping that maybe one of you guys could let me know what we should name it down in the comments. We're going to take all these parasites and yeet them to the hungry sea chickens. They're out in full force today. We're going to set our shrimpy friends free so they have a second chance at a healthy life. Stay tuned for the next video and be sure to follow if you Whee! love ocean animals.